Your brushes won't make you a better artist, but they will definitely help you add more interest and style to your art. So let me show you how I created these five brushes from scratch in Photoshop. So this A4 size canvas is my regular painting canvas and this is where I'll be customizing my brushes because I don't want my brushes and the brush textures to be smaller than what I intended to be. I will create my presets on a much smaller canvas. And for that I will go to files, click on new and create a file with a thousand by thousand pixels of working area. And the first brush that I'm going to create is an oil paint brush. For that I will select a black color and a hard round brush and create the brush shape. I'm adding these dots on the outside of the brush because I want my brush to look a little bristly. If you want your brush to look more bristly then just make the dots smaller. Once I'm done I will click on edit and then I'll click on define brush preset. And in the box that appears write the name of your brush preset and then click on ok to save the brush preset. Then I will go back to my regular file. I will right click on the brush tool and select the mixer brush from the options that appear. And then I will go to the brush palette and select the brush preset that I just created from the bottom. Then I will go to the option bar and make sure that these two settings are turned on. And then in the wetness slider, I will turn the slider to around 45% or 50% and in the load slider also to around 50% and in the mix slider to around 26%. Then I will go to the brush settings and in the brush tip shape I will adjust the spacing slider to around 5%. Then I will turn on transfer and set the flow control to pen presser. Then I will turn on texture and select a texture that resembles an oil paint canvas and adjust the depth slider to reveal the texture. And there you go we have an oil paint brush that works similarly to how you would expect an oil paint brush to work. It blends and mixes color on its own just by applying the color. And if you want to use this brush just for blending then just turn this setting off. And now your brush will blend and not produce any colors just like a dry brush. Once you are satisfied click on this plus icon and save your brush with a name and your brush will be saved. So now let's move on to the next brush that is the watercolor brush. Using the lasso tool I will create the shape of the brush and fill it with a black color and then I will use a soft round brush to erase from the middle. What I'm trying to do is create a brush that looks like a stain on paper. Once I'm done I will save the brush preset and go back to my regular canvas and then select the brush and then select the preset that I just created. Then I will go to brush settings and in brush tip shape I will reduce the spacing to 1%. Then I will turn on shape dynamics and set the size control to pen pressure. Then I will turn on scatter and set the scatter control to pen pressure and increase the scatter jitter. Then I will turn on transfer and in transfer I will set the opacity and flow jitter to pen pressure. Then I will turn on build up and the way build up works is like real water. If you keep pressing on a single area the paint will keep building and building. Then I will turn on textures and select the texture that resembles watercolor paper and in texture blend mode I will set it to subtract and turn off texture each step and then reduce the depth to reveal the texture and I will increase the scale to make the texture more visible. Then I will turn on dual brush and select a soft brush from the palette. Then I will set the blend mode to linear height. Then I will increase the size of the dual brush to match the size of my normal brush. And now the whole process is about playing with the settings and seeing what works best for you. It's all about trial and error. That's how you learn. That's how I learned. And there you go. We have a watercolor brush. Don't expect it to look exactly like your real watercolor brush. This is a digital medium. These brushes are just an imitation of their real life counterpart. And to make it look more real, you can set the brush blending mode to multiply. And now as you paint, your colors will build up and becomes darker just like how you would expect with real watercolor and another thing you can do is change the dual brush blend mode to multiply and change the size a little bit and what it does is it gives you a brush that if you press lighter it will have a hard edge and if you press harder it will have a soft edge so i think that's definitely something pretty helpful now i'll make some final adjustments like increasing the depth and increasing the size of the texture to make it more obvious and more visible. So there you go, you have a watercolor brush. 
and this brush will definitely work better if you have a better texture to use with it like a realistic watercolor paper texture and also the background that looks like a watercolor paper okay so let's move on to the next one that is the chalk brush and for this brush i will be creating the brush shape with a soft round brush because i want my brush to look a little powdery because chalks are powdery and i'm also making sure that my brush doesn't look hairy that's why i'm enclosing it on all sides once i'm done i will save it as a brush preset and move on to my regular canvas for customization then i will go to the brush settings and turn on transfer and set opacity and flow control to pen pressure then in texture i will select a grainy texture and turn off texture each step and reduce the depth to reveal the texture then i will turn on shape dynamics and set angle control to direction now every individual brush unit will be in the same direction to the brush stroke so this is how you make a chalk brush once you're satisfied just save the brush okay so let's move on to the next brush which is the foliage brush or a leaf brush here i will draw three leaves each facing in different directions and then save it as a brush preset then in brush settings i will change the spacing 200 percent then in shape dynamics i will increase the side jitter and angle jitter and in scattering i will increase the scatter jitter and set the count to 3 and then in color dynamics i will change the hue jitter and saturation jitter to 5 percent and there you go you have a leaf brush and the best way to create a foliage with this leaf brush is to first paint with a darker color and then build on top of it with lighter colors okay so let's move on to the next one that is a chain brush so for this brush first i will create a part of the chain that i want to repeat and save it as a brush preset and go back to my regular canvas and this is what this brush looks like right now then in brush settings i'll go to shape dynamics and change the angle control to direction and then in brush tip shape i will increase the spacing until it looks like a chain and that is how you create a brush that has a shape that repeats on regular intervals like street lights or chains so this is it goodbye